Well, hey guys, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Hut. And today I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to see everything that is running as a auto run or as a startup on your computer screen. And as you see here, this is on Windows 11, but this application, these, these set of applications will also work on your Windows 10 machine. It's just that on Windows 10, you run them from the command line. And that's not a big deal. But let's go ahead and see what these are. So all you have to do is first go into the Microsoft Store. And once you're in the Microsoft Store, I want you to look for Sys Internals. Internals. And just hit your Enter key and you'll find it right away. As you see, I already have it installed here, but it will come up. It's a uh, Sys internal suite. There's a whole suite of applications written by Microsoft to add on to your computer to help you diagnose problems, see what's going on with the machine, and understand better what's what's happening with the computer. And there is so many different uh, applications in here. Let's go ahead and take a look here. The one we're talking about today is going to be Auto Run. Okay, so we want to know what is running automatically on our computers. And once I find it here, uh, there's a lot of different ones in here. Let's just search it on the top here. Auto Runs. Here's Auto Runs. Okay. Now you can run this as an administrator, but you don't have to. You can just simply open it up. Now remember, on Windows 10, it does not make the group for you in your start menu. So you have to run it from the command line. So here we will open it from here, and then I'll see if I can open it from the command line. There we go. Make this a little bigger here so we can see what's going on. So what this is telling us is everything that's set on this computer to automatically run when it first starts up. And that could be a, a reason why your computer is running slow. We all know when we buy a new PC, you go out and you buy that new laptop, that shiny new device, and you open up and you're like, wow, this is running a little slower than my old laptop. It's because they put a lot of bloatware on those computer systems that have to run uh, initially as soon as the computer starts up. So if we wanted to go through here and look at some of these like Microsoft Edge, um, here's Notepad plus 64. Okay, that's an application I installed on this computer. If you do not want it to run, all you have to do is uncheck the box. Okay, it says now we're going to have to run it as administrator to be able to do that. Okay, so it's going to reopen as administrator. And here now we can uncheck the box. If you want to make sure it never runs again, you can always right click on it. You can delete it. Okay, so you can take it away. So it will never run again at that point. This is just a really nice way to see what is running on your computer. You can see how much stuff is in here. Now, if you're not sure what the application is, I do recommend that you do not, do not turn it off because Windows uh, in general needs certain applications to run when the computer fires up. That's just the way uh, Windows works, right? So like while 64 CPU or something, we, we need this stuff in here, so we don't want to mess with those. Those are uh, known DLLs. Just look for applications that you've installed that are running at startup. Most of the time, like Microsoft Office helper applications and that kind of stuff does not need to run all the time. It only needs to run when we have Office loaded. So I just wanted to show you a quick uh shot here of auto runs and how it works and uh, hopefully you can take time and clean your computer up, clean your auto startup and make that pc run the way you want it to folks thank you so much for watching jack's tech hut i do appreciate you coming by and stopping by the channel please if you like these types of videos and i'll be bringing you more stuff here to help you uh, look at your computer system as well as your networks. If you're an administrator, I'm going to help you search your networks out and find what's going on on the network. Uh, I'm also still working on the series that we started here with Kali Linux and doing some penetration testing. So thank you so much. And if you enjoyed these, please click that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up. Uh, we'll talk to you next time here on Jack's Tech Hut. I'll see you then. Bye for now.